hope you're all well. I hope you've had a good day. Um, I'm just doing some um, embellishing of my uh, journal and I just thought I'd do another uh, quick video um, on inspiration and easy embellishment ideas. Um, I've now bound my, my journal so she's all in um, and I've just started adding, I've put all my pockets in, just starting adding all my bits and pieces now and um, just looking for some different ideas to um, attach some uh, ephemera and I thought oh, you know I'm going to do some altered paper clips um altered paper clips they were like terrifying to me when I first started making journals I don't know why I just couldn't grasp how it worked <laughs> at all um watch loads of YouTube videos and found a brilliant one uh, that Gail did and it, it clipped finally thank goodness um but I do forget about them and then find I end up just putting blank paper clips in so um, if I just take this one off here and show you, so this is one I made earlier on, um, really simple, so the sari silk in the top, piece of trim behind and then I've um, used a paper fastener to put some paper flowers in, um, but the nice thing about them is you can decorate them so that whatever colour is on your page it matches and it just makes everything look a little bit more interesting I think um, rather than just having loads of blank paper clips on the page so here's another one I did um, ready for my uh, I've got a again just a bit of not vintage ephemera um, I thought it just looked a bit boring stuck in the pocket so again just literally just stitched a bit of fabric and a bit of lace and I've sewn a pocket on a uh, pocket it's not a pocket it's a button sorry we're all a bit sixes and sevens here today, but um, our clocks went back uh, yesterday. No, they didn't, they went forward. And we just don't know, well, I don't know where I am. I'm all over the place, it's quite bizarre. Um, okay, so I thought I'd just do a quick demonstration and show you how um, I make mine. So I'm looking for one um, now for, I wanna make one now for this page. Like I said, the nice thing about them is, is if you're looking at the page that you're working on and the piece of ephemera that you want to attach, you can then work out your colour scheme. Um, ordinarily, I suppose, in a, a journal, you would have one colour scheme. As in working on a boho journal, oh, it's just endless colours. It's fabulous. Um, I've just been watching Roxy, actually, funny enough. And um, she is quite a little video, I think. And she's making um, uh, a boho journal for her sister. And it's her first one. And she's saying <laughs> she couldn't sleep. She's really nervous. I felt exactly the same doing this. This isn't the first one I've done and I wanted to do it for ages. It's just been sat in the back of, well, I've been collecting stuff up for weeks and it's putting it off, putting it off. Just really nervous about it and didn't know why. I think it's just because didn't quite understand what to do or where it was coming from because it's just so different. So I can completely sympathize with it there, but uh, yeah, it's quite funny listening to somebody else say the same thing you're feeling. Okay, so what I'm going to use um, with this kit, um, you've got these whale tabs which are brilliant as I got so much fabric on the ends of my um, pages I'm probably not going to use all of them so I'm going to utilize those for my um, paperclip embellishments uh, really simple ideas you can go as crazy or as simple with them as you want like I say th that was just two really simple things but I just think it just sets the page off a bit. So um, all I've done here is I've just taken a little bit of trim, fed it through, pulled it back through the hole to pull it tight. Um, you then take your, you can do it with any piece of paper. You can do it with, um, you know, when you're slicing your, your paper and you get those annoying like white edges on the card that you don't need and you slice them off. Rather than chuck them in the bin, I, I keep them mine in a box and you can just use them for this. Literally just fold them, piece that big, fold it in half, and all you're gonna do then is slide your paper clip onto the back of the card, or the piece of paper, and then we will glue that shut. So I'm gonna do that quickly now, because otherwise I'm gonna be plastered in glue. Okay, make sure you put plenty all the way around. I'm gonna glue that closed now. So obviously just bear in mind you've got the small bit of the paper clip inside and the large bit then is on the back. So you still have a paper fastener. Um, 
that's set a second. Right, while that's setting, I'm just going to have a quick scooch around the desk now, see what it is I'm going to put on the front of it. Like you say, you can make it as uh, simple or as um, complicated as you want. Um, it all depends what you're looking for, really, but... Um, I don't want to, um, I don't need too much on this one because I've already got my, uh, oh, actually that's a good idea, I might match that fabric. Right, change of plan. Let's use a little bit of that. Um, and then it can match then with the fabric behind. Okay, so that should be fairly dry on there now. So I'm gonna pop that on the front of there. Um, layer that up like that okay um and maybe there we go perfect right i hope you can see all right because it's just gone really dark in here now i've joined joined the uh turned the blinds the one way because it was uh really bright and but the sun's playing peekaboo out there and a funny old day it was really cold and windy and blowy this morning and then took the dogs out and got soaked again. In fact, my coat was still wet from yesterday's walk. Um, and then uh, went out and did a bit of weeding in the garden, trying to get the flower beds ready for, for the bulbs to come up. And then I said, right, I've had enough now. I'm covered in mud. <laughs> I'm going in just to finish my journal. And then the sun came out. So. That's a funny right. day. Yeah, so no, I was going to say, we've had a bit of a funny day today. Um, I don't know if you watched my last video, you might have heard me mention that mum was uh, self-isolating. She was due to go in and have an op this morning. Um, she was actually going to have um, cataract removed from the one eye. Uh, she's waited quite a long time to, uh, to have this done, and, well, to get an appointment. It's taken quite a while. And... Um, Quite frustratingly, she drove all the way there this morning. It's about an hour and a half away in uh, West Wales, and um, when she got there, they cancelled her up. It was some a technical problem. I think they'd had an electricity surge or something. I don't know. It was something to do with the bad weather we had last night. So bless them, mum and dad. I've had to drive all the way back home, and with no idea of when um, it is going to be done yet either. So it was a bit of a bit of a blow this morning but um i think she was a bit obviously she disappointed but um she's trying to keep busy and hopefully we'll hear something now within the next couple of days um but yeah so lots going on and obviously mum and dad are waiting to move house as well um so we're all just keeping busy first day of the easter holidays which is nice, no school having to get up for this morning. And as I said, the clocks changed yesterday, so <laughs> it's a good job we didn't have to get up for school this morning. Because we literally uh, just would have slept through that one. There we go. So, that's the first one done. Easy as that. Like I say, you can make them as fussy as you want or as plain as you want. Obviously, the idea is you want to embellish the page, so you don't want it to be too um, thin, but... Normally my colours would be a little bit more coordinated, but as I'm doing a boho journal, I'm just trying to embrace that. Um, let's see how that looks on there now. Slide that in there. And then pop them on the page. Ta-da! Here we go. And I'm leaving that loose. Boho is just everything I am not when it comes to making journals. It's really funny, actually, because I, you know, I'm, I'm really like, I don't like, things hanging off I don't like my thread fraying and I normally like you know any bits of cotton pick it off and I've just really <laughs> to just chill with this and just let it go because I can see that it does add to it so <laughs> it's just been really strange but I've actually quite enjoyed this today it's been a bit of fun and I it's nice actually getting to use some of my nice sari silks and fabrics that I've had in my uh, cupboard for a little while um so yeah, now you don't always have to embellish. Sometimes you can just find a pretty fabric, such as this one, because these foil tabs are lovely. Um, 
and you may just want to fold them in half and keep it as that especially on that one there I mean that might look quite nice holding that on there like that piece in. Now because, oh no I'm doing the one at the top aren't I? No I'm going to do this one first. Because I'm doing one on the side I'm not going to put a tassel on this one because it's going to be a bit bulky out there so mm, actually I think I like the pink side better. I'm just going to stick that in there a second. Now, if you know you've got like a whole bunch of these to do, what I have done in the past is I've put all my paper clips in my paper first and stuck them all down and then just left them all to dry it in because you know you're not going to risk getting glue all over you. something a bit different this time on well, this perhaps collage with stamp and maybe we can use a bit of lace that might be quite nice what about that bit there Just stick that on the top there, or should I put it on the bottom? Ooh, can't decide. I think the bottom might be best actually, because then it's not gonna catch. Yep. Okay, let's go with the bottom. And it doesn't matter if it overhangs, because the whole thing will overhang on the front of the um, paper clip. so we want it to be bling don't we okay so that's that one done I'm going to show you now quickly how to do one with a tassel on these bits of leftover lace from the last one perhaps we'll have that hanging slightly at the bottom and then all right love hi oh i thought you were recording i am oh are well, you gonna do a silent one no oh. say hello hi <laughs> that's my youngest Just lay that on there like that. So a little bit of bling behind. I say I'm gonna fuss too much. It's just meant to be something to add a bit of colour at the top of the page. Um, I do like pink one here, and I. Do, 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 do. 
one. Let me glue it on first while well, I think. Camera off, I was going great guns. Loads of ideas, thinking, oh yeah, I look great, I look great. And I thought, oh, I definitely should be recording this. Camera goes on, brain goes dead. And here I am doing a video on providing inspiration. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, I already in that. <laughs> it's been a long day. And then we'll all go to bed then and still feel like it's an hour too early and we want to sleep. Just scream last night, my gosh, went to bed far too early. I said we should have stayed up later. No. Nobody listens to me, but there we are. Right. Button I'm thinking on there. No, maybe not. Ooh, I don't know what to put on this one. Oh, I know. Let's have a pretty button. So I'm still sat here with Roxy on my iPad, laughing at her desk, looking as much a mess as mine does. <laughs> One of the girls in the group put a picture on of her desk earlier on. I asked them all this morning what they were all doing. And she was, I think she went on a botanical journal. She, uh, showed a photo and she said the desk's a mess and I still look like mine. <laughs> I put a photograph of mine on there. I think at that point I had about this much space to work on and I had a bit of a square of green left. So I did do a quick tidy up before uh, I started my video because I thought oh my gosh maybe they eat she watching and just have a fit. Are you all untidy when you journal? That's what I'd like to know. Or is it just me? Just make the top of the page pretty. Okay. Right, let that dry a second. And then that's that one for that page. Okay, um just want to have a quick look and see what my next page is for the next one. I know what colour to do. Um, okay, perhaps we'll use this one then and I'll use the, uh, the card from the kit. Um, so these are two journaling cards that I want to put on. Um, like I say, I've got plenty of pockets, plenty of tags, plenty of uh, little journaling spaces. But, um, and then obviously I've got my tags in there. Um, but I, um, I don't want everything to be over embellished because I think it's nice when, um, for people to have space to do their own thing. So, the great thing about the, the, the paper clips is you're adding the embellishment without actually altering what they've got on there so if they want to put something else underneath the paper clip then it'll still look like it's embellished but it'll be their own ephemera if that makes sense so i'm gonna go with greens with this one so does that go with that kind of does doesn't that what color is that on there i like these stamps i just think i said i mentioned the other day my children bought me them uh, for my birthday oh bear with me a second all right sorry about that Cooker was beeping at me. Um, right, where was I? Okay, so um, I'm thinking that maybe we layer fabrics on here. Put sort of the purple one at the top, and then the green, and that can hang down. And then we'll put. I think we'll have this stamp because she's quite whimsical, isn't she? Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks a bit different on the top. Okay, let's glue. isn't the page but if it were if 
thin on and then here we go just like that and then this one where was I going to put this one or one here that's right and then that one there just to hold that little envelope in place So, here we are, altered paper clips. One, two, three, and where's the other one? There it is, four. Can you see that on there nice and clearly? Thanks for joining me this afternoon. Hope you'll take care, have a good day, and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye.